Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. Today I'll be doing a demonstration of doing, using RAG, but we'll also combine it with different search methods, BM25, Vector Search, Vector Hybrid Search, <laughs> LSER Hybrid Search, and Reciprocal Ring Fusion. So a ton in this demonstration. But a little background about this application. This is a real application I use for my family. We often use GameStop to find games, but what I found is that for my kids, age, I need to know whether the game is appropriate. I wanted a recommendation, and I generally use ChatGPT. However, ChatGPT, I need to know the game to be able to, for it to provide me a recommendation. Therefore, I store all my games, PlayStation, any possible game that's available on PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, I store them in Elasticsearch. And then uh, I have those documents inferenced, whether it's using Elser or vector search or vector inferencing, I'm using the Facebook model here. And then at search time, I'm using different search methodologies and it'll return a game based on uh, the search that I've chosen. And then it'll provide additional context. So for example, if a game is returned from Elasticsearch, I will then send that game title over to OpenAI to determine whether or not that game title or those game titles are appropriate for my kids. So this is essentially bringing vector search and the different types of methodologies of search along with retrieval augmented generation. And lastly, we'll do some tuning. You'll see that when I run my query against Elastic, I want to tune it based on the results. I may want to promote certain results and we'll do that through a simple tuning exercise. Let's get to the demo. So this is the application I built for my family to search for games. And for example, here I'll say I want to search for PlayStation. And this recently happened where my daughter asked me that she wanted to play a game with Legos and Star Wars. Now, if you have children, you know that they probably know the answer to the question before they ask you and they want you to come to that conclusion. So what we did is we went ahead and ran a search using BM25, which is essentially a keyword search. And you can see here that it did return titles with Lego, but it didn't ultimately return anything with what she was looking for. And you can see here that I'm also, not only did it return the game titles using the search, but I'm also using OpenAI to determine whether or not that game is appropriate for the age. Now in this scenario, I'm gonna go and change it. Her age is 10. And I'm gonna go and try vector search this time for the same, uh, for the same game uh, theme. And here, she got excited because she knew the answer to the question before she asked me. She was really looking for Lego Star Wars, The Force of Awakens. So we found it and it said, hey, for your child's age, it is appropriate. And this is how I'm using a retrieval augmented generation. The, the, the documents are stored in Elastic and I'm using OpenAI, the LLM, to uh, give me context around the appropriateness of that game. So this is great. So vector search worked really well within Elastic. Let's try Elser and see what it returns. And same results, in fact, it gives me a few more results regarding Star Wars. What I really like about Elser is the fact that I don't need to bring a model. It's already there for you within Elastic. Um, and it has amazing accuracy. And you can see here that it did return exactly what we were looking for. So what we'll turn over to is hybrid, uh, Vector Hybrid. And what Vector Hybrid is doing is it's running the BM25 uh, search and vector search at the same time to provide us results. And you can see here that on the top I have boosting. So I can boost the, the score of documents that are coming back from my BM25 vec, uh, keyword search or anything that's returning from my uh, vector search or KNN search. And for now I've kept it at zero. And if you look at the results here, it's not really what I wanted. And I know that vector search does provide uh, a good data set. So I'm gonna go in and tune this, uh, tune this up to, let's say three, 
and I will bring, let's say I don't want to completely uh, only uh, have my results with vector search because there are some results in keyword search that are appropriate. So I'm going to bring the boost up to 0.3 and I boosted the vector search uh, score uh, documents, I boosted them to 3 and 0.3 on keyword search. You can see here that in fact it does return to the top what I was expecting. So Lego Star Wars returned but then Lego The Incredibles which is also a game that she was looking for so that came from the BM25 keyword search model. So I was able to score this real time. It's a great exercise in tuning your results. If you're using different types of search methodologies, you can boost your individual methods and, and have the results at ac as accurate as you like. So let's go over to, Elsa works the same fashion, but let's go over to reciprocal rank fusion. Same thing, reciprocal rank fusion. I wanna search for games, uh, but this time I have rank constant and window size. And what rank constant is, it influences the impact of lower rank documents. So the higher the value, the more influence lower rank documents have. Now that sounds like a little bit of word salad, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this, right? It's the best way to figure out what is it actually doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a search. And as you can see, it didn't really return the results I was looking for. Again, my rag is working, it's giving me the guidance, but it didn't return the titles it did return Incredibles, but where is the Force Awakens? It really didn't show up in my results. So that's a fail. I'm going to bring the rank constant down to one. Uh, that clearly didn't return the results I was looking for. Now remember, reciprocal rank fusion, if I had, didn't explain it, I should have, is it doesn't look at the document score. It looks at the placement of where the documents were at the time the search results were came back. Basically a rank order right and it merges the results together and looks at and there's an algorithm we have it in our documentation a great job explaining that so i'm going to go ahead and rerun this query and again reciprocal rank fusion does not look at score let's take a look at how it ranked the documents and here uh it did have lego dimensions and star wars did come back as the second so great so i was able to tune the query and it returned the second result but i really want it to be the first result so maybe i need to increase my window size right if a hoverable window side is looks at how many results are per query and how higher value improves relevance but may re reduce performance, that's fine. Let's go and take a look at that. Let's bring the window size to 100 or 93. It's fine. I'm go ahead and run the search result, or I mean the search query, excuse me. And you can see here that it did, in fact, return uh, Lego Star Wars as the first result. So what did we do here? Uh, there was a lot. And one is we showed how you can use Elasticsearch with retrieval augmented generation. But what's, and, and that's cool because we showed you the pattern and the architecture. But we've also gone a step further in showing you that you can use it with different search methodologies. BM25, which is keyword search, vector, and Elsir. But we also can now do hybrid of those approaches, right? And obviously reciprocal rank fusion, which is a different way of ranking your document, uh, documents returned from Elastic not necessarily looking at score any longer. And we tune the results, right? And I think this is important because you, as a use case, you have to understand your documents and what you're anticipating returning. And with the simple tune of looking at these individual uh, parameters, we were able to tune the consistency and now we can then deploy the application to production. This is my application, so this is my production. Thanks for watching, hope that was helpful.